Hello, React Native Developers. What is going on? William here, recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. In this week's episode, we build the snapshot discovery animation using React Native Gesture Handler and React Native Reanimated. I don't know about you guys, but I got really, really excited about these two modules. I think it's a game changer. Uh, so React Native Gesture Handler to have high level construct to deal with complex gesture in React Native and reanimated that finally enables us to build entirely native, complex animation entirely on the native thread. And they address, I think, a lot of criticism that React Native had lately, especially in comparison to Flutter. So I'm really excited. I think the these two modules are, the quality is so good, they are so reliable and it enables so much. I think it's really a game changer for a lot of uh, React Native uh, projects. And next week's episode is going to be using Reanimated as well. I'm really looking forward for us to consolidate our skills with uh, this module. And immediately I got so excited after uh, doing the Snapchat episode, immediately I was thinking about the Instagram episode and I was like, oh, we could do it also using Reanimated and we could get a huge benefit by using this module. So the Instagram episode, we, we built this cubic transition from Instagram. And the way we did it, we developed three solutions. So the first one, simple translation, rotation. Rotation is calculated based on the perspective that we set. Uh, looks very good, uh, native, entirely running on the native thread, but the faces of the cube don't touch each other. But beautiful transition. Solution two, we calculated uh, at when in the middle they touch each other. And we so we found this formula. And then we use linear translate trans sorry. We use linear <laughs> interpolation uh, for all other positions, which is pretty good, but it does create some small uh, de deformation in the cube because of the cosinus here. So it's not compl it's almost linear, but not completely. And solution three, where we calculate the position for every every position. So we we did uh, some equations using the three formulas for the surface area of the triangle, which are the two faces are forming. And so we found this formula. And then we use, so we listen to the animated values and then use set native prop to set the exact position uh, of the translation, which uh, I think is what you're seeing on the screen and it works pretty well. But now that we know how to use reanimated, we could, instead of using, you know, listen in the JavaScript user land and using set native props, we could have the position of the faces set exactly in the native thread. And because the reanimated module has a cosinus as a multiply function, as a divide function, so we can declare everything on the, I think, multiply. So we can declare everything on the native front. I think it's extremely exciting and it's going to enable us as React Native developers. This and the gesture handler module is going to enable us as developers to, to build extremely uh, strong user experience, extremely performant and rely, reliable user experiences. So I'm really excited about that. And so yeah, let's try to essentially, instead of using a listener on the animation value and using set native props, let's try to declare this animation declarati declaratively on the native, native thread using reanimated. So I have a GitHub repository here that contains all the examples I built for this channel. It's called, can it be done in React Native? I will link it in the description. And so I have, I have it running here. And so we have two implementations, right? Story stories, which is solution two, stories two, which is solution three. And let's try solution four, which is using reanimated. So I'm going to create a new component called stories three. And and so the first thing I'm going to do is stories three is to copy the implementation of story one of stories and migrate it to reanimated, which should be super fast because uh, 
reanimated provides backward compatible uh, APIs. Not 100%, but most of it. So let's let's create stories free. And I need to probably to edit here. Let's see if it works. Yes, no problem. So now, instead of using React Native, animated from React Native, we use animated from React Native reanimated. And so you see not almost completely backward compatible, but not completely. So here I need to, to use declare the, and not declare, but set the unit later after the interpolation. So here we go from angle. And I find it much cleaner that way, actually. Um, up minus angle and here in rotate y i can do concat rotate y radiant and concat is one of the function available to us through animated so essentially react native reanimated provide us with this complete uh, language to declare uh, complex animations on, on the native side. And so let's have a look. Okay, so works great. So we migrated to reanimated. So that was, that was easy. And now if we look at stories two, where we do compute so this is the formula we use to compute the translation that we need to achieve. We need to rewrite this one using reanimated. So instead of using math.abs absolute, we will use absolute from reanimated. Instead of using subtract from JavaScript, we will use subtract from reanimated. Same for div uh, divide, multiply, sinus. And here also I have some condition. So we will use condition from React Native, native reanimated. So this extra trans translation too, I don't need. So this one I can remove and translation translate X one is the one I need to rewrite. So let me copy it here and let's just rewrite it using, using reanimated language. So here we pass the value of the animation. We don't need to do, we get it. So absolute of rotate, rotate y, which, so I need the absolute function here. And then here we do a subtraction. Same here. So let me import and here we have again a subtraction between these two values and here we have a divide No, okay. And here we have a multiply. Oop. So let me import multiply, divide, we need sinus as well and condition. Okay. So sinus is Okay, sinus, 
And now here we have, okay, should be translate x1. And here we have a condition. So equal, so we need equal as well. So no, it's not equal. We need greater than, sorry. Greater than. So past greater than zero. Then we return W or we multiply W by minus one. And this one is rotate Y. So let's have a look. And you see, boom. So same great animation, but here in no, nothing is run on the JavaScript side. We just like nicely migrated. And so you see this layer of, ab of abstraction where we have this JavaScript code, which we executed imperatively, we rewrote it in a declarative manner below. And great, I'm, I'm really excited. I think us using these modules, gesture handler and reanimated, we're gonna do some, some great things. And so I hope you enjoyed this little bonus episode. Next week, we are gonna do something really cool and again using gesture under and reanimated i'm looking forward to talk to you guys soon and in the meantime happy coding and happy hacking so see you soon bye